Hi everybody! Happy Friday! I hope you're having a good one. I am the coordinator of chaos here at my house. Ah, I uh, the kids just left to go across the street. We'll see. Let's make sure I'm in the right place. Whoa, my lights are so bright today. Maybe if I stand back here. I've kind of done some adjustments on them. All right, so before I get started, you know I've got to do a couple of things here so I can see your comments. <clears throat> and get my computer. Max says hi, he's the one who's barking. Hi, Alessandra, how are you today? I am um, looking forward to the weekend, you guys. It's been a crazy week of mom taxi. But, yes, Mac, we all hear you. Go, go, go to your bed, Mac. <laughs> I don't know. The kids left, so now he's sad. He, uh, I think he wants me to let him in. I'm good, Alessandra. Thanks for asking. All right, so let's see. I've got that posted. I'm coming to you a little bit early today because we have a piano lesson at 3 o'clock. So, Anita, if you're on here, I promise I'm not going to forget today. I forgot our piano lesson Wednesday, so we've rescheduled. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm coming to you early because I've got a lot of announcements, big things happening in July, and I wanted to show you a few goodies that I have. Um, you know what? While we're waiting for people to jump on since I'm a little bit early, let me show you some swap cards I got from my team. Today, one of the cards that we're making is this one. I posted it. Um, you know, I really don't like how bright that is. Let's see if I can change that. And this was actually a swap. Hmm, that looks a little bit better. I don't know what you guys think. Down. All right, well, we'll try it. Let's see. Um, this was a swap I did with my team. And our theme was in colors. Let's see if I can get those off. There we go. The in colors were, was our swap theme. So here are a few other ones kind of hard to see. God, those lights are crazy. I usually don't do this right under the light. Isn't that beautiful? Hopefully that was Amory's. And I don't know who all of them are. This is Tiffany's. How cute. She did a ton of work on that. So cute. Here is her. I can't remember. I can't remember. I'm terrible, you guys. I can't remember whose they are. But isn't that beautiful? I love that grapefruit grove. Ooh, I love this one. Let's see, maybe if I take it out of the cello. Bogo Online Jane is gonna be in August because I'm gonna be gone pretty much all of July. There it is, isn't that pretty? I don't know what that stamp set is called, but I'm getting ready to use it. It's awesome, it has that, it matches with that punch that we had from the Occasions catalog. <laughs> Hi Mike, how are you? This one, I know this was Susan's, look at that, she did like a red, white, and blue theme. It's lovely lipstick and uh, blueberry bushel. I love it. And I can't, I don't know what the name of that one is yet. I don't know the names of these things yet, you guys, but it has a matching punch. And when you put those flowers like that, when you punch two of them and put them together, they really pop, don't they? I like that. Here is one that uses that awesome laser cut paper. Isn't that cool? I don't know how she did that. I think that was Connie, wasn't it, Connie? And she put all that down. You have to, to glue that somehow, that fine laser cut paper, with fine tip glue pen works well. Um, here's one using that love what, share what you love. Pretty, I think maybe this is Kara's, maybe? Ah, I'm terrible. There's that one, I love that whole setup right there with those flowers and uh, the stems and that sentiment from the abstract impressions. Every card I see that has the stamp set up like that, I love. Love it. Here's a really interesting one. Love it with a rainbow look like that. This is from Reb. And then, oh, this one's so cute. This has something that I did not even realize that we had. This little, can you guys see that? That texture there? That is a framelit in the detailed, I'm actually giving away as a prize today, the detailed, fra detailed labels framelits and it creates that texture. I gotta pull that out, because I've used that those framelits a lot and didn't even realize that that's what that did. So I was only in one group, 10 cards. My team is awesome. We have the best swaps every month. I'm just totally blown away by it. Okay, um, so let's 
see where do I want to start? I have so much to tell you. I think the biggest and most important thing that I need to tell you guys, make sure that you know, is this this stamp pad family promotion that's going on in July. When you buy the starter kit, you get to pick out any stamp pad family you want. So that's what this is. This is a stamp pad family, 10 stamp pads, $67 value. I just ordered one myself. And it's the new design, you know, their new stamp case design, how you open it like a compact. So you get all 10 ink pads for free with your starter kit. So that makes the starter kit value like 190 something dollars. Because then you pick out $125 of whatever you want and it's only $99 in free shipping. And we know how we love free shipping. So you guys, you really need to check this out. Um, on today's PDF and on my blog post, there's a link to this so you can look and decide which um, color family would be the most beneficial to you. You can even do the in colors, all 10 of the in colors. Um, so getting a, an ink pad family for free is an amazing deal. And I think it's very generous of stamping up. Um, and I was not expecting, July is usually quiet, not a lot going on, but this is huge for us. Um, so I want to encourage you, if you've been thinking about the starter kit, if you've been thinking about joining my team, now is the great time. Well, July 1st is a great time so you can get these ink pads. Um, I also have on my blog, if you'll go over and click on my blog at the top, there's a tab that says join. And it has um, all of the benefits of joining, not just stamping up, but joining my team. When you join my team, you get all my PDFs for free. You get uh, my class kits at either like 10, 12, 10 or 12 dollars. You get um, the all-star tutorial bundle for free every month. Um, we do lots of, like I was telling you earlier, swaps and challenges and prizes. So it goes beyond just getting free ink pads. There's so many other benefits. Um, not to mention you get 20% off all your purchases after that. Um, so if you're interested in taking advantage of that, I highly recommend you look. And please let me know if you have any questions. Hobbyists, of course, are always welcome on my team. I have majority hobbyists. I, I think sometimes people feel intimidated when they say, I just want to be a hobbyist. I just want to get the discount on my stuff. That's fine. Stamping Up knows that. And the majority of demonstrators actually have started that way. That's how we all just, we just wanted to get the discount and that's okay. So don't be he hesitant if that's you, because of course you're welcome. Everybody is welcome to buy that starter kit. Okay, um, the next really good special is this. You might have seen me post it yesterday, um, starting July 1st, which is Sunday. These designer series papers are buy three, get one free. So it's not all of them, but it's almost all of them. It's the, let's see if I can name them. The Christmas one, I don't know the name. Twinkle, twinkle. Oh, what's that one called, you guys? Um, promenade, something promenade. Uh, sea of Textures, Springtime Impressions, Nature's Poem, Wood Grain, my favorite, Tropical Chic, uh, Best Route, and Animal, what's it called? Expressions? Animal something, the animal one. You guys know what I'm talking about. So buy three, get one free. You can mix and match. You don't have to buy all four of the same kinds of paper. You can get one of each of your favorites and then you get one for free. So that's an excellent deal. And if you wait to put in your order for July 1st and you use today's hostess code, you're also gonna get the make and takes from today for free. So that's an added bonus. Um, and if this is the first time you've joined me for Facebook Friday, I had someone even ask me yesterday what a Facebook Friday incentive was. And that's when I do my Facebook Lives on Friday. I typically do three projects and then I offer them for free with an order of $30 or more by Monday night. Cause I always, on Tuesday morning I get up, I count how many I have and I cut them and ship them. So you gotta get those orders in by Monday. Um, this is what it looks like. It comes all packaged and ready for you. Everything you need is in there. Here's one from the week before, all right? And they will come in the mail, like I said. Usually I cut and pack them on Tuesday. Now next week's 4th of July, so it's gonna take me probably to the end of the week. We're gonna have company in town and stuff. Um, but I typically get those out pretty quickly. Um, if your order is $150, don't use the hostess code. 
take advantage. You get stamp and rewards once your um, workshop or your order is $150. You get stamp and rewards. And um, I want you to have those. I'll still see your order and I'll still send you the make and takes for free. Okay. The other exciting thing that happened yesterday is that the blends, you guys know the blends, all of the new colors, which right here, all the ones with the red dots, are now in the warehouse. You know, we've had to wait because they were en route from wherever they come and they did not get here by the middle of June, which is what we thought, but now they're here. They are here, so we're very excited. Um, and if you wanna order those this weekend and use this hostess code, you will also get the make and takes for free. All right, I told you I had a lot of things to tell you. Um, how about my new class to go? Have you guys checked it out? Just so you guys know, on the other side of here, behind you, there's a big window out to my street. And all of a sudden, there's kids everywhere. <laughs> my daughter's out there. There's kids everywhere. So if I seem a little distracted, that's why. Hopefully, they don't come to the door and make the dogs go crazy. Ah! Okay, focus. I'm focusing. Tropical Chic is my class to go for July. And it has a pretty quick turnaround. I usually give it a, like three weeks at least. But this time I'm leaving for Alaska on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip for two weeks, the last two weeks of July. So the cutoff date for this is July 10th. And I will have them in the mail before I leave. July 17th, they'll go in the mail. That's my deadline for myself to get them out to you, okay? So if you want this class, make sure that you sign up quickly. Now this is what it includes. You're gonna get one sheet of all the tropical chic patterns so you can use whichever ones you want. You're also going to get a bolt of this woven ribbon. This is the Granny Apple Green woven ribbon. And then the projects, we have two cards. Super cute, I love the pink with it. A little notebook. A box that holds, I tr you know, I try to get food that's themed with the, the set. So I found coconut themed treats. That's a Lara bar. Um, and then this box, super cute. It has a coconut, they're called snowballs. I think they're snowballs. I think that's what they're called. But I think they have coconut on them. Hopefully I didn't just imagine that. But it was pink and I thought it would go great in there. And then the one that everybody is talking about, this cute little um, tree. Isn't it cute? It is so fun. And I just thought these would make great table settings like this. Um, if you were having a party, um, they op it opens on the bottom. You can put candy in it. I actually found some coconut milk caramels that I put in here. And um, I don't know, I put, thank you. So it could be a, a party favor or it could be a table, a place setting. Anyway, it's cute. So that's included in the class. There's six projects and there's four options. Option number one is $65 and that includes the bundle, the stamps and the framelit. You're getting the ribbon for free when you get that, um, that option. Option two is without the bundle. Maybe you already have the bundle and you don't need to order it from me. You'll need it to make your, your uh, projects, but maybe you already have it. So option number two is what you'll need, and that's $35, and that includes everything, bolts of ribbons, six make and takes, the PDF, all that. Um, option three is for the PDF only. You just want the directions. Um, that's an immediate download. You can uh, click on that, purchase it, and then it automatically emails it to you, okay? And then the last, of course, is for my team. They get it for $12. And that's a benefit from being on my team. All right, so that's that. Look for it on my blog. It's also on today's PDF. Remember the PDF for all of this is over on my blog. Looks like this, right? You can click on it. If you, sometimes people say they can't find it. Under this picture on the blog post, you'll see it and you can click on it and it'll have all the information. So there's a link there for that. There's a information on the stamp pads with the starter kit. And of course the buy three, get one free. Um, and then, yes, all the information you need for today's projects are here. The item numbers and the measurements are there, okay? So pinkbuckaroo.com 
in case you're unfamiliar with my blog. Um, let's see, what time is it? How long am I talking? I was gonna show you something really fun that showed up in the mail. My Alaska, have you guys heard that Stampin' Up's taken us to Alaska? I earned the Alaska incentive trip last year and so now we're going, we're taking the kids and my, uh, they sent me a ton of bag tags. We always love the bag tags and I collect them. I leave them all on my luggage and um, so far I haven't lost any of them, but we have a lot. So if I do lose one of these, then at least I'll have more. And they keep collecting on my suitcase, it's fun. So we got these and then this little bag came this is a great little zipper bag. It says Alaska Stampin' Up! on it. And inside were our, um, our name tags and all my kids, everybody's going. It's gonna be so fun. So that was in there. And then we also get this like little booklet, a travel booklet. And it's so cute what Stampin' Up! does. Of course, it gives us information for each day, but then on the back, it has beautiful artwork with really good quotes. I think these would be great for scrapbook pages tearing them out and putting them in your scrapbook page. I just had to share. I don't know. Nobody gets quite as excited as I do when it arrives. My kids are excited to go, but they were like, okay, bag tag. I don't know. I thought it was fun. Okay, before I turn the camera around, let's do prizes from last week. Um, all right, so I had two prizes. I always give away two different kinds of prizes. The first prize is on my blog. The very bottom, you click on the, the raffle copter, enter your information, and it saves it. And then I go and click, and it gives me a winner. Okay, so that winner, this last week, was is getting the hand-delivered hostess set. And that is Tracy Baird. Tracy, I'm gonna be sending you an email this afternoon. So Tracy, you're getting that. And then I always give a prize for people who have shared the video. If you share my video, it helps me find new customers. So I always appreciate that. And last week I said I was gonna draw one winner to get this um, embossing folder, which we're using today. And that is Kathy West. And Kathy is on my team. So Kathy, I already have your address, so I'll be sending that to you. Thank you for sharing. I do appreciate you guys sharing the video. This week, the prize that you have to enter over on my blog, remember, scroll down, click on the raffle copter, is the stitched all around bundle, stamp set and framelits. This is a good prize, because I love this and I love these. So you have, but you have to go to my blog to enter for that. The second prize is this beautiful, all the good things stamp set. So make sure you share the video. That's how you could win that. So two ways to win. Oh, Kathy's here. Good, Kathy, you're welcome. Um, so share the video for a chance to win that. And I will draw prizes next week. We will be having Facebook Friday next week. My kids are going out of town again. And um, they're gonna go with their grandmother for a week. So I will be alone again on Friday. I shouldn't act that excited probably. Um, so we will definitely have Facebook Friday next week. I already have the projects planned too and they're good. All right, I think we're ready to stamp. Where did I put that card? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, it's probably with my swap cards. I took the card that we're making today and I put it in that stack. Here it is. All right, one last thing to share with you is the All-Star um, tutorial bundle with every when you spend $50 in my online store, order Stampin' Up! stuff, you get this for free. And it's about 70 pages of tutorials. And there's a new one each month. So depending on when you place your order this weekend, you'll either get the June one or the July one, which I don't have yet, but it's coming. It's almost ready. Okay, that was the last thing I needed to tell you. So now I get to do this crazy awkward thing where I switch the camera. Everybody cross your fingers that I so that I don't hang up or end the video. That was a nice shot of up my nose. Pretend like you didn't see that. I know, some people do it nice and smooth, not me. All right, let's see. I have rearranged some things here. Hopefully this little phone holder will hold. And the funny thing was today I charged my phone, charging, 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 and I went to get it about an hour ago and it wasn't charging. It wasn't plugged in on the other end. So now it's plugged in. 
and so we're kind of limited. Okay, let me get centered. Here we go. Little Elephant. How many of you have Little Elephant on your wish list? Hopefully you saw my tips this week about how to line it up. I'm going to show you that in action. Here's the card that, that I made um, as an example. Really cute and simple. I used Blueberry Bushel and Crumb Cake DSP. Very simple. All right, so I'm going to keep my my PDF here because I need those measurements. Let me get my big shot ready. The first one we're going to make is this card. And like I mentioned to you, this was the card I made for our team swap. And the funny thing about Little Elephant is that at first glance, I really thought it was a baby set. I'm going to turn my fan down. That makes the video shake a little bit. I thought it was a baby set, but... It's not just a baby set. Let's look at the sentiments. Celebrate your big day to my friend. Hello, little one. That could be a baby set, right? I'll forget you not. Congratulations. A little kindness is a big thing. So that's a lot of different occasions, right? So one card today we could use as a baby set, but the rest, whoops, the rest of them are not babies. And this doesn't have to be a baby card either, I don't think. All right, this is just bothering me. Let me let me adjust, Let's see if I can get it. I know, it's so annoying. It looks straight on my phone, but then when I see it on my iPad, it's not straight. Nothing drives me more crazy than when I could scroll down and see in my Facebook feed my video and it's super crooked. I don't like that. Okay, here's to the, this week's Hostess Code. It's a brand new one. So make sure you make note of that. It's on the PDF also. Okay, let's get started. Let's do our stamping first. And we need to arrange our little cuties on our block. By the way, you guys, I already pre-recorded this video so that you'll have a clean version. You won't have all my craziness going on. If you wanna come back and watch it again, it's gonna be on YouTube. I've already uploaded it and I have not made it um, public yet. God, I am losing my words. So anyways, look for it. All right, the first thing you're going to need to do is punch, take your elephant punch, and punch it on just some scratch paper, just like that. Then take your stamps, and we've got the big one here. Actually, you need to make sure it's turned because <laughs> if you put it down this way, he's not going to fit. Make sure your paper is the way you punched it. And put your, put your elephant in there. And it's kind of like a puzzle piece. You put it down and you wiggle it around until you feel like it's a nice fit. And this one too. And you'll see on my video on YouTube, I accidentally m moved that one when I first did it. So make sure they're in the right place. Put your block down. And now they should be lined up perfectly. I don't know, that little baby's worrying me. Let's try that again. He moves. Get him in there, make sure he stays. And then this guy, just wiggle him around in there until you feel like he's really fit. There we go. All right, now we're gonna stamp him in, let's look at our project. Stamp him in balmy blue. Balmy blue. This is a really good new core color. Very blue. It's just a good, you know, like a light blue. All right, now turn your punch over like this so that you can see what you're doing. And look at that. They line up perfectly. All right, so there's that. Now, oops, you know what? We need to, and I didn't do this the first time. I want to punch out his ears too. So we're gonna stamp it a second time. Let's do it over here. And you'll notice right here on the punch, that's the little ear and that's the big ear. So let's take this on the little ear right there punch and we might have to cut some of this off to get it in the punch now we'll take the big ear right there and line it up 
like that. So cute with the little ears popped up. All right, now we're gonna use mini, dim mini dimensionals to put those ears on. One there. And one there. I do like the mini dimensionals because I don't, it means I don't have to cut my big dimensionals. But I use a lot less of them than I do the, the regular dimensionals, that's for sure. They seem to last a lot longer. All right, thank you for sharing. I appreciate that, Cindy. All right, hi, Debbie. Um, let's see, the next thing. I am so just scatterbrained. I'm not focusing. All right, now I have cut a stitched Whisper White Square. This is the largest stitched square framelits. That's a mouthful. And I'm going to stamp that congratulations. And I felt like here it should have been down a little bit lower. So I'm going to try to do that this time. And I'm stamping it in lovely lipstick. There we go. And whoops. This little platform that I put them on comes from our wood frames. See right here? These are the wood frame, wood, no, they're called frame embellishments. Frame, I can't think of the word frame, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, you know what they are. They're in the accessories right here. And see, you can use this one or you can use this one. Now remember, all of this is over here on that PDF. Frame, it's gonna drive me crazy. Elements, frame elements. I don't know, that just doesn't seem like enough description for that. Now you could use your fine tip glue pen here. Thanks for sharing guys. I appreciate that. All of you who have said you shared the video. But I'm going to use glue dots because I'm a hot mess with a fine tip glue pen. And what I did, oh I forgot to mention, I cut it in half. That way I got more out of it. See right here? You just take your scissors after you pop it out, which is what I did. Be careful when you take these out because they do break. They're very, um, you know, fragile little wood pieces. But your scissors will cut them just right in half. Like that. Awesome, right? Okay, now let's put our elephants on here. Let's stack them up. I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of the big one. And before I put the little one on, I'm gonna stamp the little hearts coming out in lovely lipstick, and then we'll put the baby. Now, if you didn't want this to be a baby card, just leave the baby elephant off, which is what I did on my swap. But then I thought, oh, it's so cute, we've gotta put the baby on. So cute. All right, let's close this up before we have a disaster. Trisha in the San Diego airport. There are worse places, Trisha. There are worse places. I don't know, if you're stuck there for a long time, you might argue that with me. Okay, now right here, I don't know if you guys can see that texture. It's really hard to show like in a photograph, but this is the Subtle Impressions oh, embossing folder. And it's a dynamic, what they call dynamic embossing folder, which means it's really thick and it's six by six, and it creates textured cardstock. If you have been around for a while, you know that cardstock used to come in smooth and textured, and I am a big fan of the textured, so I was, I've was i been missing that, and now that we have this, we can turn our cardstock into textured cardstock. It's also similar to like a linen look. I've, I've heard it described that way. Now you're gonna need your regular um, Big Shot platform, and look at this, have you guys noticed that the embossing folders now have these lines here? That helps us line up our cardstock. And for this one, because it's so subtle, it probably wouldn't matter if it was kind of crooked like that. But when you have one that has lines on it and you need it to be exactly straight, that really helps keep that straight. Now put it right on your, your platform and put one clear plate over it. You don't need both clear plates for this, okay? Because it's one of our dynamic folders. It's very thick. And there you have it. I hope you guys can see that. Mm, I love it. All right, while we have the big shot here, let's do the other cutting that we need, which is we're going to make a little 
balmy blue framelit, I mean a frame, using the stitched shape framelits. The stitch shapes come in circles and ovals and squares. All right, balmy blue. This is the framelit, the large square that I used for the first piece that we stamped on, that we put our elephants on. I'm gonna put that there, and then I'm gonna take the second size down and just put it right in the middle. I've moved, I've switched over to my magnetic platform. That's my preference when I'm using the Big Shot. It'll hold those in place. And then we're gonna cut it out. And this one we don't need, so save that for another project because it's cute. And let's take these out. And there's our frame. All right, very cute. I love using a little frame. All right, I've also used my favorite framelit in all of the catalog, this scallop border from the Seasonal Layers. And I've cut a piece of Blushing Bride. And then I cut a piece of the Lovely Lipstick DSP, three-fourths of an inch by five. And I'm just gonna use my adhesive along the edge and I'm gonna glue it or adhere it to this scallop. And it looks like it's a little bit too long, so we'll just trim that off. And then we'll put a little bit more adhesive on there and put it along the edge of our embossed piece like that. All right, now we need those mini dimensionals again for our frame. Hopefully, you guys, I'm not too glitchy today. Last week or last time I was pretty glitchy and then Kimberly, who I think is on here, said it's the internet's always glitchy when her kids are at home and I thought that's what it is. They're all playing on their devices. So I kicked them out. I told them no internet while mom's on Facebook. All right, so for many dimensionals, I'm gonna put it kind of off centered like that. And then let's pull back our cute little elephants again. I'm gonna put a couple of dimensionals just right there in the middle. And I'm gonna do that like that. So you can see how the frame is just kind of off. Last but not least, of course, is some ribbon. Lovely lipstick, grow grain ribbon. I cannot keep this stuff in my office. I keep using it up and ordering more. The In Color Grow Grain Ribbon is great. All right, trim it. Get a glue dot right there and right on that corner. All right, now let's put it on our card base. This is a lovely lipstick card base, just a four and a fourth by 11, folded in half or scored in the middle. And I'm gonna put these, these dimensionals on the back because of course we have to pop it up. And right in the middle of the, the card front. And there you have it. So cute, project number one, a little baby card. Or not, it doesn't necessarily have to be baby. I hope you guys like that, I love that card. All right, let me move everything out of the way and get project number two. All right, so I'm wondering how many of you have already ordered the little elephant? Because he's so cute. Oops, this is not the one we're doing next. He's so, so cute. He, well, she, she and the baby, I, I call them. So cute. All right, now let's clean our workspace. The next one is this box right here. And funny little story about this box. Let me get a drink real quick. You guys know I like to find snacks and treats that coordinate with the stamps, right? So I'm racking my brain. What goes with an elephant? Well, peanuts, right? That's all I can think of. Peanuts, peanuts. I looked for individual packs of peanuts. Nothing really struck me. And my daughter, my middle daughter, Emma, she says, Mom, well, what about Nutter Butters? They are the shape of a peanut. And I was like, you're so smart. So that's what's in here. It's a snack pack of Nutter Butters. And I don't know about you guys, but we're big fans of Nutter Butters here. I try to not keep them around. 
so that I don't eat them. I am, am a peanut butter addict and these are the best. So anyways, I got these just at the grocery store. Our store sells them individually like this, but they also sell a pack of like 12. Um, so you can find them at any grocery store really. So Nutter Butters, I think is a more fun treat than just peanuts. Okay, so let's make it. You're going to need, let me get my card stock over here. Get all my pieces. You're gonna need a piece of crumb cake cardstock that is eight and a half by six and a half. Now remember, all these measurements are gonna be over on my blog. Just print out that PDF and you'll have it all. Um, you won't have to write all these down. So eight and a half by six and a half. On the short side, we're gonna score at one and a fourth, three, four and a fourth, and six. Now on the long side, we're gonna do one and a fourth, three, nope, I'm looking at the wrong one. One and a fourth and seven and a fourth. Ooh, I almost screwed that up. Good thing I didn't. All right, now this is what your paper looks like. So get your scissors, and the first thing we're gonna do is cut these little rectangles off the end, okay? We don't need those, so get rid of them. And then we're going to cut these, this tab right here, we're gonna cut the corners off, okay? Just trim those corners. Cindy, I'm probably not gonna do a class with this one. Usually if I do it for a Facebook Friday, I don't do a class with it. it. It was tempting though, it's so cute. All right, now we're gonna go and we're gonna cut all of these tabs, cut the score lines up to the horizontal score line. Like that. And then we're gonna come back over here. Remember, this is the end with the long skinny tab. These two flaps, we're gonna cut about two thirds of them off, just like that. Then I want you to cut those corners off too. This is gonna be the little flap that folds down into the box and we don't need much of it. And if we cut the corners off, it's going to slide in nicely. Okay, so let me set this down so you can get a good look at it. This is what your paper looks like. All right, now let's burnish. If you've got your bone folder, use it. I can never remember to grab my bone folder for Facebook Live, I don't know why. All right, now this is the lid. So we're gonna fold that back because we don't need to adhere anything on that lid. We're gonna take some tear and tape and we're gonna put some tear and tape right here on the middle. Well, I cut that, I made that too long. Let me cut it even with that tab. We're gonna put some tear and tape on the middle tab and then we're also gonna put it on one of the side tabs like that, okay? And then just peel that top layer off. This was giving me a fit earlier, would not come off because it knew I was making a video. There we go. I think maybe my nail is a little bit too long. If that happens, use your scissors. The tip of your scissors makes it come off really quick. All right, now you're gonna fold this one in, the one that has nothing, and then fold the other side one. Push those in and then fold up the big one. Like that, okay? So let's do it again over here. Tear and tape. The reason why tear and tape is called tear and tape is because you just tear it off. You don't have to get scissors like we used to with our red tape. You just tear it. It makes it easy. All right, one more, get that, just like that. All right, fold in the one that doesn't have adhesive and then fold the other side one over and then the big one folds up. And there we have it. Let's put our Nutter Butters inside. There we go, perfect fit. So fold these tabs in like that and they will fold down into your box. And there is your Nutter Butter box. I don't know, I think these would make great little teacher gifts. Don't forget your teachers. They like snacks during the day. Okay, now I decided to use the Animal Expressions DSP, because now I know that this is a giraffe pattern, but that goes with an elephant, right? It's jungly. All right, put that there. The size of this DSP is 
five and three fourths by one and a half, right in the middle. All right, now let's stamp our little elephant. This time we're just using one elephant, and oops, it went way over here. Let me get it. And we're gonna clean it. Make sure we've got that balmy blue off. This is my chamois, Stampin' Chamois. Yes, it's stained and it looks grungy, but that's okay, it still works really well. All right, now one thing I want you to be aware of is when you punch this, you're not just gonna punch this over here. You're also, you've got all these this stuff here. So make sure that you stamp your elephants with a little bit of space in between. Now because we're only doing the, the big elephant, it's not so bad, but if we were doing a bunch of big and little elephants, we'd have to watch out for those ears on the side. All right, so. Am I out of the screen? I cannot see. One, lovely lipstick. Two, I'm gonna do one on the side. Three, and yes, elephants can be lovely lipstick. I don't think they have to be gray or blue, do you? All right. All the good things, Mariah. Was that the stamp I just showed with the goldfish? It is, right? I will, I will, not be doing one of those anytime soon. No, probably not. Um, so up next, if you guys wanna know what I'm gonna do, I've got Broadway birthday already planned and ready. It's gonna be after Tropical Chic. And then I need to do one more before the holiday catalog comes out. So I don't know, do you guys have suggestions? I don't know that, that um, in route, en route, whatever it's called. I really like that one, the travel one. Really, really like that one. I don't know. Let me know if you have suggestions. All right, so we're gonna put these on here. I'm gonna start with the, the middle one with dimensionals, of course. And I'm gonna put this guy, look his little tail, his little trunk is behind his tail. The T one, Sandy, yes, I have considered that. The T one, mm -hmm. so cute with the, the little tens. The dream one, ooh, Joy, I do like that one a lot. My stamp club card for July features that set. All right, let's do our sentiment. We're gonna bring back that scrap of paper that we just used and stamp that right along the edge in lovely lipstick to my friend. Uh oh, I've got ink all over my fingers. All right, now, if you have your trimmer, just trim this out to the height of the word. And I'm just gonna use my scissors. We're gonna wing it. There we go. Now, let me grab my little snips. On this end, I'm gonna make a V. So I'm gonna snip up like this, just a little line. And then from the bottom corner to the top of where I cut, I'm gonna cut and cut, and that makes the perfect flag end, the perfect V at the end, you guys see? All right, now I wanted this to be like a little banner that he was carrying, so get a toothpick. Just a toothpick, these were like 50 cents. Cut it in half, and Take a glue dot and just put it there. Kind of wrap it around that on the bottom and stick it behind our little elephant. Now I'm gonna take another glue dot and put it on the end, but I'm also going to get a mini dimensional and stick it right there. All right. Now you guys, I see you talking about the tea set. Here's my dilemma, okay? I have decided to do a one day retreat. Y'all are hearing it first. I haven't even announced it. I just booked it this morning on September 1st, right? The Saturday before Labor Day. And I was thinking about using that tea set for all of my projects that day. So I don't know, I don't know what should I do. If I do a class with it, then I can't do, then I can't do um, the retreat with it. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna have to play around and see. 
those tens are gonna be hard to ship too for my to-go classes. I'm not sure about that. That's gonna make the shipping a lot. All right, so another um, stitched bow, a lovely lipstick, grow grain, not stitched, grow grain bow, and we'll put this up here at the top of his flag. Now, something I forgot. These little tiny balmy blue hearts come from the support ribbon framelits. Here they are. You guys know these, right? It came out last year with Patty Bennett set. I'm using this little tiny heart here, and I've cut two of them from balmy blue, and I'm just gonna use a glue dot to stick it down in between my elephants like that. There we go. So cute. Nutter butters. Nutter butters for days. I've got to give these away. i got to get them out of here to my friend. I don't know. I've got to get them out. I hope you guys like that. And I was so proud of my daughter for thinking about something that I would never have thought of. Those nutter butters are great. All right. Last project. Last project. Let me move all this out of the way. Grab what I need. I need to clean. Where did my chamois go? Here it is. Now the next one is a 3D project too. It is going to be a case. Do you guys know what case means? Copy and share everything. Well, it's a case from one of my downline, Kara. I don't know if I saw Kara on here today. Kara pays at, at Kara's Crafty Nook. She does Facebook Live too. You guys should find her. Kara's Crafty Nook. She's really good. Whoops. Um, and she did these for her um, catalog kickoff and her open house, I think. And they're so cute. She did something different with the end colors. But I love the design of this bag. To me, it looks like a backpack. Don't you think that should be like some little straps? And then you'd have a little backpack. I think I'm gonna have to turn that into a backpack in August so we can make a teacher treat. So cute. So Kara, I already told her I'm casing you today. I love the project so much. Now I'm using another stamp set. Did you see on there on that balmy blue, these circles? This is just cardstock and I'm gonna make my own pattern paper by using one of these swirly frames. I'm gonna use this one right here, all right? All right, before we stamp, let's get our paper ready. That way we'll know where we need to stamp. All right, bring that Simply Scored back over here. This is Balmy Blue again. Let me look at my own notes. And it is almost a full sheet. It's eight and a fourth by 11, okay? And we're gonna do a lot of scoring. So on the short side, on the eight and a fourth side, we're gonna do two, six, and seven. On the long side, we're gonna do two, five and a fourth, seven and a fourth, and 10, whoops, 10 and a half. Now again, if you've just joined us, don't worry. You don't need to scramble and write all that down. It's on my blog right now on a PDF, okay? All right, so now, I think we're gonna do our stamping before we do our cutting, okay? But this is the side, this is gonna be the bottom, and the, the side that has these two sections, that's our top. And so, we only need to stamp, let's look at it, we need to stamp the front, the two sides and the back, as well as the top, okay? So that means everything here in the middle and these two sections right here. So, now don't be too hard on yourself when you stamp a pattern. It doesn't need to be perfect. Nobody is going to be able to tell that your patterns aren't equal distances, I promise you. So just start somewhere and start overlapping. Let's see, I'm gonna do them in between like that. And then, I can come back in and do these overlapping rings. This reminds me of the Olympics. <laughs> we could make an Olympics card with these rings. And I'm just gonna go down. I really like this set. This is one that they gave away at on stage in April, and I did not win it. 
It was the one out of all the ones that they gave away that I wanted the most. That's okay. I got it in eventually. And I haven't played around with it a whole lot, but uh, it's neat. I like these little kind of just shapes, you know, geometric shapes. Okay, so can you see what I've done? I've just really focused on this middle part and these two right here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to cut all these off and all of these off. So let's start here. Cut these two first sections. And my, what I'm looking at right now on my iPad, it looks blurry. So don't worry, you guys. If it's blurry, when I upload it, it uploads in HD and then it's crystal clear. Plus, you can go to my YouTube and find a clean recording of this. Now we're going to cut off all these sections. All right. Like that. There we go. Now turn it around and cut that skinny. There's one skinny tab, just like we did on the box. Cut that one off. Uh-oh, my iPad says low battery. Well, that's okay. Hmm. I like, I like to see what I'm doing. I keep the iPad there so I can see. And my daughter uses my iPad to play Fortnite, Minecraft, whatever she's playing. And I told her today, I need it. And she said, okay, I'll keep it plugged in. But I don't think she did. Now, this is the tab that we're going to adhere to the other side. And just like we did on the box, let's cut those corners off just so that we have no edges sticking out. All right, so if you fold this in half like this, that's going to overlap right there. So use your tear and tape. Tear and tape is what you want to use, not snail, on your 3D items because they will fall apart if you try to use just snail adhesive. Tombow works too. As you guys know, I'm a hot mess with liquid adhesive. All right, so there we have it. Now, this is these two little sections are the top. We need to fold in these bottom sections. So fold in the sides first and put some tear and tape right there on that first section. Whoops. like that, and then fold in that bottom. Now, I didn't tell you what's inside of this box. I didn't tell you. This, I was really racking my brain. I couldn't think of anything else except peanuts, and I did not want to do peanuts. And then I thought about circus peanuts. You guys remember the candy, the circus peanuts, the orangey, spongy ones? And I, was, I went and I actually picked them up and I was like, eh, that's not really a fun snack. I mean, I, you know, my girlfriends wouldn't eat that. So, just a little ways down on the shelf, I saw these. These have nothing to do with elephants. They just look amazing. And they're balmy blue, right? They're the right color. So, sometimes it's all right. Sometimes we can't find what we need. So, whoever I give this to is going to get these white chocolate truffles and they will not, I don't think they'll be sad. <laughs> okay, so put your treats in and you wanna pinch these sides right here like that. And this is how it folds over, see that? All right, now we're gonna punch a hole with our 1 8 inch hole punch. Make sure I get it in the middle. Then I'm gonna close it and get my pen or your pencil and make a little mark in there so you know where to punch it over here on this side. Now, this is really clever how Kara did this part. Uh, she used ribbon. I'm gonna use this Nature's Twine. It comes in four colors. There are four colors in the pack. And you're gonna fold it over and I think I'm gonna do this a little differently than I did the last time. We're gonna put a knot in this end, but I'm gonna actually put it through this first hole before I do that knot. You guys see how I did that? Just like that. Now, while that's on the inside, tie that knot on the loop end. Tie a knot. That way when you pull that, it's not going anywhere. Can you see? Very clever. Now we're gonna put both ends, we're gonna thread them up, and it looks like I need to cut my ends nice and neat. 
thread those through that hole. Yes, <laughs> Elaine, I thought so too. So much better than circus peanuts. I don't know if anybody likes circus peanuts. I don't know. Okay, Anne Marie, I'll save it for you. <laughs> All right, so now we've got those two ends through that second hole, and we're going to pull it closed and just tie it like that. And I, I didn't even show you guys how it opens. So when you untie that, you just pull it like that. Very clever, very clever. All right, so there's our box or our bag. I think it's more of a bag, our backpack. Now let's make the tag. We're gonna use that same large mama elephant. And oops, no, we're not gonna use lovely lipstick for that. We're gonna use Back to Balmy Blue. Oh, did I clean this? I think I did. I did, whew, good. All right, you know what, let's do it again and give him a little ear. Let's come over here and do it on this side. I thought, oh no, maybe I forgot to clean it, which wouldn't surprise me. All right, so punch one of them out and then come around. And the second one, we're gonna punch out his little cute little ear. And back to our mini dimensional, put his ear on there. Oops, gotta turn it the right way. Now I already cut these circles out. This is the Lovely Lipstick DSP, and it's not the largest stitch circle, it's the second largest. And all oh, the stripes would be cute too. We're gonna use this um, polka dot side, and I'm layering it onto a scalloped, a lovely, li lovely lipstick scallop circle that's just a tiny bit bigger. And put our little elephant here. Now, for the sentiment, I really like this one, the heart that says thank you, because it's not just words, it's also a cute little shape. But, unfortunately, we're going to have to hand cut this one, because it doesn't have a matching framelit or a matching punch, but that's okay. We'll survive. All right, so get your good scissors, cut off your excess cardstock, and just follow the line on the outside. Don't cut the actual inked image. Keep your scissors on the outside, leaving a little white cloud around it. All the way around. Oops, I better cut that little point off. All right, I hear you, iPad. I know you're low. All right, that must mean I need to finish. All right, and then it goes right there. Thank you, so cute, thank you. All right, so let's put, you got it, another two dimensionals. Do you guys use dimensionals as much as me? Sometimes I'm embarrassed how much I use them. <laughs> there you have it, so cute, I love this design. I cannot wait to turn it into a backpack in the fall. I think it's gonna make a great backpack. All right, let's review. You guys, we're done. And I think I made it in time to get my daughter to piano on time. Anita, if you're watching, we'll be there, I promise. All right, so we made a cute little card. We made a Nutter Butter box. And we made the cute little backpack. Nope, it's a bag. It's not a backpack yet, the bag. Now remember, you guys, if you put your order in by Monday at midnight, Using this hostess code, you'll get all three of the make and takes for free in the mail from me. If you are if you bump your order to $50, you get the all-star tutorial for free. Don't forget about the paper sale. Three by three, get one free. Don't forget the free ink pad family starter kit starts on Sunday. And the tropical chic class. You can find it by typing that URL in, okay? and get your PDFs and enter for your prizes over on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. Thanks so much, you guys. I hope I answered your questions. If I didn't, I will come back after I run over to piano and I will answer your questions. Have a great weekend, have a great 4th of July, and I will see you next Friday. Thanks for joining me. Bye.